the last place you'd expect to find soy sauce is within a Cornish pasty. Now, I don't want to get shot down by the purists. I lived in Cornwall for a couple of years and actually worked in a pasty shop. I think this Kickerman soy sauce adds a great depth of flavour within the pasty. So, that's why I'm using it. Okay, first off, I've got some skirt steak. Now, this needs to marinate for a couple of hours. So, I'm going to marinate it within some Kickerman soy sauce. It's naturally brewed, so it has a real clean and, for me, much more superior flavour. Now, you can use shop bought pastry for this if you don't have the time on your hands. Um, but this, I've got here some plain flour. Okay, to that, I'm going to add some unsalted butter. So get your hands in there. What we want to do is just want to bring this all together, press in the flour and the butter until it resembles breadcrumbs. Okay, we've reached the breadcrumb stage. I'm going to crack in a couple of eggs. 30 ml of milk. Again, get your hands in there. Start to bring it all together. Okay, that's all come together. That's what we're looking for. Grab yourself some cling film. Get it in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes. My flour's out of the fridge, so I just want to dust my work top. Get some on the pastry. Just start to roll. What we're looking for is the pastry, the thickness of a one pound coin. Use a small plate, and cut round. Reroll that, use it to make your next. Let's crack on with the filling. Okay, so I've got my marinated skirt steak. In goes an onion, some swede, and some potato. Now these are classic Cornish pasty ingredients. Just give that a little bit of a mix. It's gonna take on all the saltiness of the kickerman soy sauce and also a really good grind of black pepper. Okay, so we've got our filling. Let's pop a nice pile onto the centre of our pastry. I'm going to go on just a, a small knob of butter, give it a bit of a, an egg wash around the outside. If you want to add a few more flavours into this, you could always crumble some blue cheese in there, put some herbs in, some thyme, some rosemary. Would work really, really well. Okay, so just pull these up. Pinching as you go to secure the filling. Okay, let's get those onto a baking sheet. Nice and gentle. Got my passes on the tray. I'm just going to brush them with a little bit of the egg wash. So they go nice and golden. and they go into a hot oven and cooked until lovely, crisp and golden. Pasta should be done now, let's go and have a look. Yes, look at that. Let's get that on the plate. Serve with a nice dollop of tomato sauce. That is what we say in the West Country is Gert Lash. <laughs>